Hi guys. So this is a reading about your past life connection with a person and how it's affecting this life. Okay, so choose one of the five piles. We have pile one, ships. Pile two, karmic relationship. Pile three, forgiveness. Pile four, lessons. And pile five, war and battles. Okay, so choose your pile and then we look at your past life connection with that person. Okay, bye guys. See you at the piles. Hi everyone. So this is past life reading ships. So you and your connection in the past life, you and your connection, you and your person. <laughs> so let's see what the universe is saying. So I have what was this con what was this connection in the past life and what it is in this life. So you can see, well, if this is my person or not, you know, and by ships, I see, well, a lot of traveling, you know. I want to get more cards before I start this. I just got, just universe told me, just got it in my mind that I want to get some more cards from my tarot decks. Can you tell me why is ships here for this past life connection? Oh, wow. Why is this card? <laughs> this card is turned around. Yeah, what I see here is in this past life connection, I mean, we have the five of cups. And we have the ace of wands. What I see here is that what I felt, you know, when I shuffled the card and I, you see the reading, um, that's what I felt in those reading, is um, in this past life, um, you were moving to another country. I strongly feel that you were European and you went by ship to America to start a new life, you know, to have a new opportunity. You were one of those people that don't look back. You know, the five of um, cups, if you see this, it's like turning back and being, um, being disappointed about the life you have to leave behind. But you go because you want to make your fortune. And that's what I felt when I... Um, I just want to get this clarified from the universe. Um, that's what I felt when I had this ship card. Because it also says um, you had an awakening. Your purpose was the awakening in your past life. Spiritual awakening. You know, seeing that spirit is there. Awakening in general. We have the... Those words are German, you know. This is like dating card. We have making money. You see, it's like a beggar and someone rich giving them money it says money that you didn't expect then we see change i feel titanic here i don't know why and it says a long way a long path i see i strongly see titanic and i asked what this seven what is this ship's all about with your connection and um And it says, um, the Seven of Swords, this is someone leaving, you know, not being there. So let's get this here. I want to do the past life first and then I want to talk about your connection in this life. Well, what you see here is that you married this person, like your connection, you know, because the Four of Wands, is your, you, the Four of Wands, I see that it's being in a connection, being in, in a relationship. And um, I think you married this person, you know, you had a marriage with this person. And then, you know, this is what I saw here. Let's put this here with um, the money card came in, you know. So this is like um, wanting to make that money, you know, going into another country, going by ship to make your fortune, um, emig like emigrating to somewhere else to make money. And that's what I f strongly feel that you went by ship to another country and I think both of you did and that's when the change card and doesn't it look like the Titanic I always get Titanic feelings here <laughs> it's because the cards are made in this era like they look like in this era 1910 till 1920 you know when you look at the cards so cool and um but here you know what I see here I don't know but if you look at this card I see heaven 
a door to heaven and then it says a long path. And the five and three equals um, eight, which means eternity. So what I feel here is that really strong Titanic feeling where you wanted to go to find your your life, you know, somewhere else in another country. And I think you wanted to go. I also see the States here. I don't know. I see the States. And um, so I really feel Titanic that you went on the Titanic with your husband, the one from your connection, and you know, you were the only one awakening. Like you probably awakened and you saw, well, my husband is gone, you know, and you couldn't, you couldn't look back. It's like being in plaque, you know, being in plaque by moving to another country. This is sadness. This is um, losing the one you love, you know, losing the one you love because of this is what happening to people, you know, and it's like an awakening. So, and I see also here that someone stole something away from you. So that's probably how you felt for a long time that life stole your partner, you know, life stole your partner because he went down with the ship. I strongly feel that one, this person went to heaven. Yeah, I strongly feel it here also with the butterflies and you had to change. And I think you've, because, um, you know, this awakening is here that you had, um, a spiritual awakening in this life because your partner died in such a tragedy and that's this connection was gone from your life and you had this awakening and you were like always look like how she's looking it's like always hoping to be united to him again you know like this long path long path alone I feel here I strongly feel that and it makes me sad. It makes me even sad watching this, looking at this. It's very sad for me, you know. So how does this connection plays out in real life? Like now, you know, now in this life. And there the card came out, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You're not together with that person. You're still in separation. So they are not in your life yet. It might be because maybe you were young, you know. And, you know, this is a shadow self. So this is the person, you know. It could be that you had many lifetimes together. I feel strongly feel a soul bond that, you know, you guys are, guys had this sad life here where you lost your person, you know. But I also see it here with the Eight of Cups. That's also, you know, look at this. It's like similar. You see that? And here, this is my soulmate card and the magician. And I also got the universe card. Opening up divine energy, allowing to universe to help and guide you. So you ask the universe for another chance in this life to be together with this person. I strongly feel that, guys, because the sun is here. This is a soulmate card. You, you too, this is your shadow self. This is your, your shadow or, you know, it's like twin flame connection. You guys have, have done many lifetimes together. And I think the last lifetime was during the Titanic. Yeah, I strongly feel that. And you um, couldn't make it happen, you know. This person was taken away from you. And I think you asked the universe in this life to bring you guys back together. Because I see the sun here. And you go on this journey right now alone, you know. This is the Eight of Cups. You're waiting for your person. You're standing there. Um, you might have an affection to the moon. You might love red and you have black hair. I also see long black hair here. And um, you know you have a soul bond. You know this, okay? If you don't know you have a soul bond, then this is not your reading. But you know it. And you ask the universe to ma to manifest this in this life. And I strongly feel the other person too. This is your one. This person is a very strong manifester. Um, I also think that your person, the one who died, like the masculine energy, um, what will manifest you. They will manifest you because see this here? 
those are the two people one and two so both of you are working with the universe you are not together yet but you're working with the universe because you know it says shadow and self your names might even start both with an s okay i just want to say that because i see s s ships s oh my gosh s yeah your names probably start have s's all over the place <laughs> that's what i see and um you're not together yet, but your person, your masculine energy will manifest you in this life because he also wants to be united with you again. You know, when I see the sun here, this will happen, guys. You know, you both work with the universe and you ask the universe for this chance again because you are a soul relationship. You're twin flames and you lost each other. There was, um, you know, the spiritual journey was all about awakening in this past life in the Titanic. I think it was the Titanic or some kind of ship. Um where it was all about your awakening in this other life you know this awakening to spirit and moving up in spirit and i think in this life you also have a soul mission and i think the soul mission is you guys being together and bringing the soul mission to people so if you don't feel that you have a twin flame or you don't feel that you have a soulmate this reading is not for you okay so just go ahead and um, take another part but if you feel there's someone there but you're not together with that person you're still in separation but you have a bond look at this they're both holding hands see that so even in separation you feel each other in 5d you dream about each other you feel this other person you belong together you have a soul mission in this life and you ask the universe i think to be together in this life again okay guys so it's really beautiful really beautiful so if this happens please tell me your story okay come back to my channel and write this <laughs> this is so cool okay guys that's all i have for my past ships well now we'll move on bye guys so hi guys now we're moving on to our pile two it's called karmic relationship so this is a relationship um that comes in each lifetime so you're meant to be together in each lifetime you spend together you know that's what I see in the comic relationship. And this past life here, I feel in World War II. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> it looks like it, right? You, you two were soldiers in World War II. So first I want to ask what this is all about. And then we look into your past life. Why is comic relationship here universe? And I want to get two cards. this is very interesting um if we look at those cards here it says the moon the moon is all about intuition and not knowing it's all about um and you see how this woman is standing in between the towers so this is about you never know in each lifetime i think you never know um what happens um you have a strong feeling and connection to a person always in every lifetime but you cannot make sense of it it's like you have an inner knowing that you guys belong together with a person you might see on pictures you know like one of our boys or so but you don't know why there's something hidden you never know why there's also something about the moon okay so you might be drawn to the moon and this is the truth the sword of truth it's like and you fight for that you know it's like um the universe getting the sword of truth you know and handing it over to you this is like fighting it's like the universe um one by one the universe will reveal what this is all about and will tell you the truth but not at the beginning it's like you are in this journey and you think you have a soulmate relationship with someone and you're like well you know you don't know anything but with time you get more and more revealed you know this is what i feel here so let's put this here so we see this okay so first I want to talk about 
your past life. And this was a very interesting reading. I remember um, looking at the cards and going like, hey, <laughs> what is this? So we have listening in your past life. Then I asked, well, what is this listening all about? Because we see here many birds. Birds are people um, talking to you. Like birds is all about people twittering, um, you know, chatting, chit-chatting. So listening to other people. And then I asked, what is this all about? I got the devil card, guys. So listening to the devil. This is not really nice, you know. And we got... Um, like, look at this card. I mean, those are German words, but it's saying, um, you know, being desperate. Because you got no job or you got no money, you know. Look at this. There's not hiring in the back. Being desperate. Then we have <clears throat> a stealing card, you know. Stealing away from rich people. And we have sad thoughts you know and thoughts process thoughts going on and on and on thinking about this so with this here not knowing what's going on and the truth is like you had this karmic relationship with this person this connection that created a lot of karma in this past life and this karma is like coming in this life you know that's what i strongly feel here because I was like, what the heck is listening to the devil? So what I feel here is she looks very sad. She looks very sad. And what I felt here, I see a masculine energy more in the foreground. So guys, I just want to tell you what I feel. Here I see a feminine energy and the moon is all about the feminine. So I strongly feel that you were the divine feminine in this past life. Not knowing what's going on. Not knowing the truth. Because the truth was hidden. You see here? Half the sword is outside. The other half is inside. The universe only told you a little bit. And even in this life. In that life. You know. What we're talking right now. It's like the truth was hidden from you. And for me it felt like. Um, you guys were very poor. There was a timing and maybe it was during the great depression like in the states you know where you guys had no money there were people not hiring you know your husband it seems for me didn't know what to do anymore the only thing he could do was he was listening to some kind of words in his head and it seems like the words are coming from a devil like people who had not the best, best intention with you and your husband um i also feel here before the war, during the war, I don't know. But I feel here great depression. And then the war came, yeah. So what I feel here is that your husband maybe listened to the wrong people. But you didn't know. You see that? And he stole away. Maybe that was his reaction to cope with this de depression state, you know. He was because he didn't know how to make money anymore and you guys needed money to um, get along, you know, to, to get over. And he was stealing from rich people and that's how you guys became rich. But your husband, you see that here, until his death in the end, I see he was still always having these thoughts, you know. That's like listening. He was listening to the wrong crowd. And I feel that was not a nice life to live because you came to fortune, what I see here. Because there's a difference. You came by fortune from stealing other people and you didn't know. And I think you found out during the war. I think you found out when your life, like at the end of your life, later in life, when you guys were old, you found that out and you were like, oh my gosh, you know, the truth was revealed later in life. And um, I think this is a karma that's not very nice. You know, you don't do those things. And you get this karma back. You know, it's not that you can live like this and then don't expect um, to ever get punished for this. And I remember one army writing to me, um, not being very happy with one of our boys. And I was like, hey, why? why? Maybe you have a past life karma. I think this reading is for you also. 
because I strongly feel here that you were very mad with your person, but it's your soulmate. You guys are bound. You guys are bound together. You experience every lifetime and that's why maybe in this lifetime, you know, you both, because you were a couple, you both have to, this is a couple, because, but you didn't know. But you both have to, like, earn this karma in this life because you both did this. Even if you didn't know, you still, you know, you're still with your husband. You might have even saw that. I don't know. But I, this is what I um, strongly feel here and what the universe is giving me. Okay. So let's see how that plays out in this life. I mean, that's more interesting, right, Army? <laughs> That's more interesting. So what I got here is the card for ancestors. And that's really interesting. So you see a picture here. And what I strongly feel is you're born. You are born like you. The feminine energy that had no clue. You are born in the same family. And so you see pictures of yourself and this person on the wall. That's what I think. You're born into the same family again. And you see you and your husband in World War II or you know you see pictures of yourself and you feel like you know those are your ancestors but you feel oh my gosh this woman looks like me oh my gosh so you must have the feeling of this okay if you don't have the feeling for this this might not be your reading but there are ancestors in your family or in a big family it doesn't have to be your grandparents or your great-grandparents but it could be your great-grandparents of a cousin of yours you know but you look at pictures and you think, oh my gosh, that person looks familiar. Or, oh my gosh, this woman looks like me. You know? You look at pictures and you see your husband. It could also be that, um, you know, if it's one of our boys and <laughs> you look at pictures, you think like, oh my gosh, I don't like him. Why? What's going on? You know? That's what I'm saying. This is, you look at pictures and you have the feeling you belong together. But I strongly feel like um, you want to express your love in this lifetime. It's like you guys, it's like her, like she want to express your love. You feel drawn. You really express, want to express love. You feel drawn to this pictures and you might be drawn to one person in particular. Well, if you look at pictures and those are pictures of your family, I mean, you, you, you feel a connection to that couple, you see, maybe because it's you. But there is a connection, like there is a person in your life right now. It could be that you, um, you really are in love with them. Look at this, it's the same. Look at this picture, it's even the same. So you want to express this love to this person. But it's not possible. You cannot do this. You, are, you guys are not together. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. But you want to, you have the feeling you want to tell a person that you love them. So we have strength. This is really, you have to be really strong in this lifetime. It's like you, you know. Then I got the king of pentacles. That's the one. That's your guy, you know. He's an earth sign in this life, I feel. And he's very rich. He's focused on making money. He's a leader personality. And you look at this person. Look at her. You look at this person. You want to express your love. You love this person. But sometimes you don't like them. You know. Sometimes you think. Why do I like this person? I don't understand. Because you have this past life karma together. You know. And you want to. You have to be really strong to hold yourself back. Because either you want to jump on that person. And you we want to get mad at this person. Or you want to really express your love at this person. Could, could go two ways. But you experience heartbreak because it's not possible. You cannot reach this person. And that's how the universe works this karma. It's like you cannot reach this person. This person is out of reach. And that's how you... Um, how Why this is happening. You know, you guys are really close. You have a close bond. And I think in, in 5D you may, you may even dream of this person. And I think in dreams you express the love. Maybe you, you are, you see this person. And you are like, oh my gosh, I love you so much. And I want to be together with you. But in real life you are not. You're looking at pictures of this person. You know who that person is. 
and you have funny feelings. Sometimes you feel, well, I love them. I want to express my love to them. Sometimes you want to get mad at them, you know, and it breaks your heart in this life. But that's your karma. That's the karma you have for what happened to you. And also this person cannot reach out to you. And they always have this feeling that they, um, they never want to marry in this life. That's the feeling they have, you know. It's like they, they, they're missing their piece, the other half. And, but they cannot find it right now. You know, they cannot find it. And that's their past life karma they have. They have to work through that. However, this resonates, you know. And what I see here, I ask the universe, well, what is the guidance? And it's a dream. So you might dream of this person connecting with self and spirit. Connecting with yourself. It's, it's your soulmate. Believe in the power of your dreams, guidance and directions. So you get a lot of guidance from the universe in your dreams. And I feel um, that's you can only reach that person in your dreams. That's the karma of the universe. That's what happened because you guys did not have this nice life. Like in the last life, you know. And that's why maybe um, we don't know how that plays out and what changes in this life. But this is what I'm feeling here and it makes me sad. It makes me really sad. But that's how it is. That's what the universe got me. However, this plays out, you know, and I don't know what happens later in life. You know, we don't know. I just can tell you right now in this moment. This is how you feel. This is how it is, you know. Okay, Army. I hope I could help you. Let's move on. Hi, everyone. So let's move on to our reading with our path forgiveness. And first I want to ask, well, what is this forgiveness all about? What... What is it all about, universe, in this past life? Oof. And can you give me one more card? Oh, wow. So we have two shiny cards, you know. We have the strength, being strong, not knowing what happens. The moon, um, being lost, being you can only listen to your intuition. With the case of forgiveness, um, what I feel in this past life, you had to be very strong. You were battling some kind of um, like lion, you know, some kind of um, some kind of battle with um, the wild, you know, something wild, something you cannot control, and you're doing a good job battling it. You see that? So. And you didn't know what happened. It's like this is the moon is all about not knowing really what happens. Like you can go your own path. But you learn to listen to your own gut. You learned to listen to your own self. You know, your very strong personality. You were a very strong personality in the past life, you know. Um, and I think... This life was very hard and in this life I feel there is some kind of forgiveness you need to do for the past life. We will see what it is, what was so hard because you had to be very strong. And you had to go the way without knowing where it leads. The moon is all about not knowing where it leads you. Just going the way and just taking day by day but not knowing what, what comes out of it. Okay, And... I think this past life was very hard for you, but it learned, you learned to listen to your intuition. You learned to listen to yourself. I also feel in the moon like helping, a lot of helping energy, helping with your intuition, helping other people, because the moon is always a cancer energy and cancers are helping. So you could have been a nurse, something like that, okay? So let's see what, what it says what your past life and nature come out came out and you see here this flower this flower um i don't know what it's called in english it's called moon almost spelled like this the moon oh the moon and moon in german it's the same oh wow um it's a narcoticum you know something you take when you have a lot of pain that's what gave me a lot of um, 
things to think about because then I asked the universe, what, 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 well, what is this all about? And the death card came out. And this is really interesting, you know, this is really, it made me feel a very dull energy. Also with the strengths in the moon card. It made me really, and I also see autumn here. So this came in the autumn of your life. The autumn of your life is when you're like around 50 years old. And um, well, I asked, what is this all about? And two cards came out. There came not three, there came two cards. And this was very interesting. It says the good woman. This makes me think of you being a rich woman. Do you see that here? Someone who has money. And a good woman is someone who helps. You know, it's saying a good woman. I also see a widow here. This card, we card readers also take as a widow card. And, um, you know, we're talking about a relationship to a person you have, you will meet in this life again. Like the one, okay? And what I see here is that, you know, I see flowers here and I see she's not looking very, she's looking very sad. So I see um, what I saw here with the death card is that you were mourning the death of your loved one and then this came card came out and I mean that's called sickness and this is interesting because um what I feel here this was a natural like what we have now it's actually strange because you lost someone to sickness and not someone you lost your one to sickness this person was taken away from you by a sickness that was nat natural. Like it just came natural. You couldn't do anything. It was nature. Nature fighting with humans. And isn't it what we have right now? This is so strange. And sometimes I feel like really past lives are repeating each other. Just with another outcome. And that what's what made me think. Because in this past life you had no idea what's going on. It's like the moon, you could walk your way, but you you were blind. You didn't see that the sickness was taking away your person. And I think in this life, um, if you are very afraid of the coronavirus or you, you have a very dull feeling right now during this sickness, it's because you lived this past life and you lost your loved one to the sickness in this past life. And I think... You see this, those two birds? There are two doves. Peace. Peace and forgiveness. And what I think is the two doves represent you and your loved one. I don't know if you are together in this life yet. It could be. And you are um, you're experiencing the sickness right now again together. And when you, if you are very anxious about your person... If you live with them or so. It's because this could be your past life, you know. But don't worry because this life will be different. We will look at it, you know. But that's what I felt here. And you need in this life, you need to show forgiveness. You need to be strong. And forgive for what you didn't know. You didn't know that this nature came into your life and took your love away. But this was part of your learning lessons. It's all about for you to learn forgiveness in this life. That's why the things had to happen in the past life, you know. Sometimes we don't know, not even in the life we lived, why this had to happen. Okay. Very sad though, but you know. Oh, I want to keep this. But this is important for, for um, let's put this here also, for this life. So let's see how this life, see? And what I ask first is hope. Look at this. The sun is shining. It's a new day. It's a hope. Yeah, look at this. It's saying peace. The little balls here, they say peace. So peace and hope in this life. Let's put this here. So you need to forgive this other situation. And then this card came out. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give 
and receive the highest energy of all. This is very, you're very afraid that you um, will lose your partner again to this. That's why you might be very afraid right now because, you know, of this virus going on right now because this is exactly what happened last lifetime you lived. But this time you came with a lot of hope and you might experience also a lot of hope that times get better. And the universe is saying, no, don't be afraid. It's safe for you to live. It's, it's another start of this life. I also experience a lot of times where past life really repeat each other. Like past life repeat themselves or itself. I don't know how to say that in English. To For you to live another outcome, to learn different lessons. It's very interesting. I have not, I don't know why this is, but it is like this. <clears throat> Okay, what else came out? So, the world came out. Okay, so the world is, it's all about balance. And I see two. Two lives of the same kind. You see that? She's balancing out the two lives. So, you have to live those two lives in order to finish the soul journey. That's a soul journey. And right after that came the fool. The fool is about zero. This fool is about zero o'clock, starting new, starting all over. What I see here is, um, in order to balance out, like, look at this. This is this, an ending. It's an ending of a cycle. So you need to live this life to forgive and to end the cycle, to balance out the two lives help you to balance out your soul and then will you start new you go on another soul journey on a different soul journey about something else you want to learn okay and they, he has a rose in his hand i see a rose as love so you say thank you universe look at this oh my gosh and chimney's picture just moved <gasps> so yes this is real guys this is true what I was just saying. His picture just moved. So you live, you say, thank you, universe. You give me another chance of this. Your soul says this. This is the soul journey. Your soul says, thank you. I couldn't live last time because my partner was taken away. And this is like you meditate. You get this as downloads from the universe. So this is a very spiritual thing. It's... um. It's on rest right now, you know. And if you meditate, you can really talk to the universe and you will get this in. You will get the universe is giving you guys another chance. You two lovebirds. A chance of hope. And that's why the th same things that happened to you in this past life with the sickness and everything are coming back this life. And that's why you incarnated together in this life. For me here, it seems you don't know this person yet, but I don't know. You will meet them during this virus, I think. You will meet them. I think during the sickness, when the sickness goes on now, you will meet your person. If you, And if not, you, you are already together. You know that. You know that, guys. If, you, if this reading is for you, you feel that. Okay? And um, while well, the universe is also saying, I got the spring card. Look at this. In spring... So spring is right now, beginning of spring. So in spring, I think during this, when this virus goes on right now, you will meet your person and you both will ha have a lot of peace and hope. You will see that it is safe for you to love. You won't lose your person again and you for can forgive and end this old life. This new birth, fresh start. This is the universe saying, yes, you need to have these two lives to balance out your soul. And in order to go on another soul journey with your one, this is also, this is a couple, a divine couple. You guys are united, you know. You live li different lives. And as much as you don't didn't know in the past life, you also don't know in this life if you haven't met this person. But you will. You will meet them in spring and you will have a new start and it, it will be safe for you to love. So this is very beautiful. It's a very beautiful outcome. Even if the past life is very sad, you know, but sometimes we don't know the waste from spirit. We don't know what spirit wants from us, you know. Sometimes we, we see, we know it lifetimes later, you know. So I wish you all the best, guys. Please tell me if this is your story. 
Bye, guys. So, guys, let's move on to our, our next pile. Lessons and blessings. And as in the other piles, I first want to see what the universe means by that past life. So show me, universe. What was that past life? Why is lesson, lessons and blessings here? This wanted to come out. What I strongly feel here is that, um, you know, if I look at those pictures, I feel like here some energy is sending out a message, like waiting for something to arrive. You know, this person is waiting for the ships to come in and he's sending out a message when the ships come in, when this arrives. And it's like the universe is handing this person the cup and this person is not going to take it. This, this person doesn't want it. So it's like a lesson. I want to put it like this. It's like one of the person is sending out, is really into it, sending out a message, really waiting for the other person to come in. But this other person is not taking their cup of love. You see that here? And I think this is the lessons. And I also see it split it. Lessons in the past life. This is the lesson you needed to learn in the past life. So that you get blessings in this life. Okay, so that's, that's how I see it. Lessons and blessings. So if you learned that lesson in your past life. That you should, should take cups or I don't know what the lesson is about. We will see. But one person denied the cup. And this lesson over time turns into a blessing in this life. You see that here, Ami? So let's see how this turns out. It's very interesting. So, so when I asked about your past life, they gave me this purity card. This looks like a, a, a wife, like a wedding like a bride. You see that? Very pure. And then I see the two of pentacles. Like a clown. Someone who is balancing. Doing a balancing act while a ship is moving through stormy waters. So. And you see one of the pentacles he holds up. One of the pentacles he holds down. And you know this is with your person. You know we all do the readings is always with your special person. With the one you have this connection. And it feels for me like one of you didn't want these connections in this past life. So let's see. Yeah. It's like the kind of expectations. That's the bright energy. You see that army? That's the bright energy. Very beautiful. She's like waiting. Waiting to be a bride. It even looks like a bride, right? Looks like she's married very high status. But then we have the judgment card or um, like, and you see also these two energies. I strongly see these two energies. One of you wanting. Ooh. One of you wanting this connection and the other one doesn't. For me, this looks like divorce papers. And then we have um, continuous rework. Yeah. And here I see, you know, this card is um, like saying this purity. So I feel the feminine energy. I think this is your energy was very pure in that past life, very pure. She both, she has in both pictures a white dress, meaning a bride, meaning being pure, you know, and in the past life, in those times, you had to be pure, pure to marry. So I see the feminine energy being very pure, being very happy. And um, this is the guy, your other half, didn't want this connection. You see, he's getting the divorce papers. So I think you married from different, um, 
how you say you came from different backgrounds in life. One was rich and the other one was poor. I think your husband was rich. He was from upper status and you were not. Or turn it the other way around. But I don't think so, no. I think the richer one didn't want the connection. And this one is the person that looks out for the message. So the woman who had the purity, she was sure she wants to marry this guy, you know. She expected her ships to come in, so, you know, she really was in love with it, with that guy. And it says there was, I feel like this here. Yeah, there was a lot of, it says, Mühe and Arbeit, it means uh, working continuously, working all the time. You had to work on this relationship. I feel like she, the feminine energy, really worked on this relationship but the guy was not interested i really feel this because you came from two different backgrounds it could also be that this guy was working as a judge or um and you were a housewife so there was something of difference there was some kind of difference um that you felt like a clown you know you felt like constantly balancing out those differences but only the feminine energy did balance you see that? The guy not. He just didn't want the cup. And that's the lesson you had to learn. That um, maybe if you are the only one working on this relationship. And trying to balance out. You feel like a fool. Because the other one just got the divorce papers and was gone. And I think this is what you needed to learn in this past life. That there are two people who have to work on a relationship. You know. And not just one. And now this lesson I think you learned, now this comes to a blessing with your person in this life, okay? That's what I really think. So um, as sad as this is, this was important for this life, okay? So let's see how it turns out in this life. And here we have the reflection, yeah. See, it's reflecting. That's what I say. A lot of lives, a lot of past lives are reflected in this life. It's very interesting. And here it's like the lesson you needed to learn in this past life gives you the blessing now in this life because it's a reflection. This life is a reflection but a diff with a different outcome. And here we have it. It says engagement again, like the purity card. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And here I feel both of them wanting it. Look at this guy is very into it. This time the guy is really into it. You see that? Aww. Yeah. We have the moon here. The moon is about not knowing. We have the justice card. Look at this. Wow. She's even not seeing the justice that's been served. And we have the six of pentacles. Uh, equal give and take. See? <laughs> so this life the justice comes for you guys. The blessing is coming. And um, you don't even see that. It's hidden from you, you know. Now you know. <laughs> this is the reflection card also, you know. The moon is reflected in the water. So you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person. But I feel like here it's hidden from you. Why this life is like this. But I think you know that the person that you're going to marry them. Like... Okay, this means like if you are together with a person, this relationship is co and you feel this is the person from your past life, this relationship is constantly um, going towards commitment. It starts with an engagement and then you will marry because justice is all about marriage also. Because this time in life, the justice is coming back because there's always equal give and take in life. It's never not balanced. If it's not balanced in the past life, it will balance in this life okay but the universe won't tell you it's hidden from you okay you might even not know this person this is also possible that they come later in life that you're right now you're in this mood where you don't know where you're going but you have a feeling that there is a co there is a connection to someone but you just have not met this person this could also be and when you meet this person there will be an instant connection there will be justice served and you will marry right away. You will go into engagement and marriage right away. I want to see. I forgot to get a card from this deck. So let me get it then. Universe voice is happening. 
so we will get it right away okay yeah look at this <laughs> union togetherness happy family card see there's marriage guys and this time happy it says union togetherness friendship this is a happy family and you will have two kids and this is why it's happening because it didn't happen in this life because you had to learn a lesson but this is so beautiful i really love this past time life reading it's so cool guys isn't it it's so cool so you will know if you feel that it's either you have met this person or you have not if you have not they will come into your life they could be a cancer but you will have this happy family this life okay you get the blessings because you learned the lesson so please tell me in the comments if this applies to you guys and now we're moving to our last pile bye guys so guys this is our last pile and this reading is so beautiful so the last reading is all your past life about wars and battles okay so first i ask the universe why the wars and battles is here what is this all about universe in this past life Give me one more card. What is this all about? Okay. We have the Ace of Wands here. That looks like sex. Passionate. Fire. And we have the Hanged Man. What I feel here is you couldn't be together with that person. The hangman is not being together. It's like hanging in the air. So you felt like hanging in the air in this past life. Um, maybe because your husband was in war. And uh, you know it's all about this connection you have. You know it's all about this connection that you experience in this life also. That's what I do the reading about. What I feel here is you're very passionate about this person. You really love them. You're so passionate. You're like your passion overflows. And you cannot do anything in this past life. You cannot do be together. Maybe because one of you is in war. But you really want them. So let's see what happened in the past life. Okay. We will see. So what I got... was um intuition this is the divine feminine you know um being very intuitive so you learned all about intuition in this past life and i asked what is this all about the intuition is all about you know feeling it feeling this connection with your feeling having it learning how to connect with your intuition feeling and I asked what this is all about and the Seven of Cups came out. The Seven of Cups is confusion, daydreaming. This is Neptune energy. This is almost like the Ace of Wands being so much in love. You daydream about this person. This is Neptune energy. It's like daydreaming about this person but you cannot do anything. You are alone. You are alone on this island but you want to be with him and you ma imagine all those different scenarios what you want to do with them. Because probably one of you was in war. So let's see. <clears throat> we have, yeah, look at this. We have the ship. And it says a far away horizons. So daydreaming again. You couldn't be together because you are far away from each other. Then we have prison. So your other half was imprisoned. And then we have a rich good guy. And I think the rich good guy married you. Because you probably could not together be together with your other half. So there were two guys involved in this connection. <clears throat> One that you really wanted to be together but you could only reach them by daydreaming. You can only be together with them by dreams because they were locked up. Because of war. Yeah. That's why there was no connection you know. It was a stillmate, but you were really in love with that person. That's what I feel here. And they were far away. Look at this. That's also the card. Far away. It's different. It's a different country. 
you could not reach them and you know a different country in those times where it's this looks like the 1860 civil war you know you could not just go there and meet them so i think you were alone half of your past life until this rich good guy came and married you but i don't think think because the one and the three equals four that means relationship i think this guy married you and you see here it also looks like a prison i think you felt pr prisoned in this marriage because you still love this guy who you lost in the war because he was imprisoned his whole life you never seen this guy again that's why you daydream of him that's your other half your other half was gone and this is the another one who married you but you felt imprisoned i see that here oh and um all what you did in this past life was you imagined you daydreamed about your person you learned how to connect with them on a 5d level you learned that's what you learned in this wars and battle life to feel them with your intuition very interesting and i think you use that in this life because it says wars and battles what i feel here is the war was going on in this life past life and now you don't fight any battles anymore because you want this person you say i was there hanging all my past life no i learned how to connect to them you're very connected to this person. So there is a person in this life. You feel such a strong connection. And you really love them. You're passionate about them. So passionate. And you want to make them. Or make them attract to you. So let's see. Oh my god. I just saw the cards from the reading from this life. And I think I'm right. <laughs> this is so cool. And here we have you again. Look at this. Look at her eyes. This is crazy shit. Look at her eyes, guys. It's like she said, intention. See, she says, I don't fight any more battles. This is the guy I want. My water cup is overflowing. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. <laughs> this, is, this is like, yay. Your, your intention is to set on this, this other person, your other half. You go to battle. You say, I don't fight. Like, I don't... This life, I'm not standing still and just dream about this person. You say, no, there was a war once, yes, but now I battle. Now I go to battle. <laughs> That's how I feel your energy. Yeah, and we have the queen of wands. Look at this. You're passionate about this person and you, you are really strong and passionate. Look at this. You're going to get them in this life. You say, no, this is my person. And as I said, look at this. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You say, this is my rose. This is the one. I'm going to get them. I'm going to battle them. Like, not battle them. Battle everyone who takes them away from me again. Because you're saying, I'm not marrying another guy like last past life. I'm not marrying again someone else. <laughs> and here we have to look at this. How this is mirroring your past life. It's again the seven of cups. You say, no, I'm not doing this again. Look at how she's looking at this. Because you know right now, this person's not in your life. You know who that is? Yeah, and you're saying, this is my pentacle. I'm going to get him. This person always lives far away. See that? This person lives far away. And right now, you can also do only um, daydream about this person. But you're saying, no, in this life, I'm not doing this again. I'm going to get this person. And um, this is all about your power. Your power and the intui intuition, also shown by the cat. What you learned in the past life, you're going to do in this life. You have the intention to manifest this person, yeah. I see very strong feminine power energy, very strong feminine power to attract and to battle, to manifest this person that you're daydreaming. And right now you're only daydreaming about them, but you're going to get them. <laughs> and this is not a bad thing, you know. You won't manifest them if they don't want to, okay? Just know, guys, if you want to manifest a person and they don't want you, you won't manifest them. Well, if they're not ready or they have different 
things going on from the universe. But this person, you, you loved them in the past life. You're saying, I focus my intention. You're the queen now. And then I asked the universe, well, what it is all about? And it said, commitment, look at this. Look at this. It says, being true to yourself and others, committing to trust yourself, power and knowledge. Three plus two equals five, that's change. So you're looking at yourself. You see this other person as your soulmate, your twin flame. And you're setting the intention to get them. Like, not in a bad way, but you're saying, no, I'm fighting. I'm battling this right now. I'm battling. This is my pentacle. This is the one I'm focused on. I'm not only daydreaming this life. <laughs> so let's see if let's see if this other person comes in again. The one, <laughs> the one who comes as a substitute all the time. We'll wait for him. This pro he, this guy probably comes back too. But then you know you know right now who you daydream about. This is the one you want. So set your intention. Try to manifest this person, okay? Dream about them. Imagine all the different scenarios by loving them. You have a strong power and it's all about commitment. So I think if there is commitment standing and the yellow is the sun, so I don't think you won't manifest them. I think the universe is saying, well, if you battle and if you set your intention, you will make this come true. This is so beautiful, right, Army? <laughs> this is like, hey, I'm not gonna live without my beautiful cutie anymore i'm going to fight for him i'm going to manifest no matter what others say <laughs> strong feminine power <laughs> strong power thank you that just came to my mind i don't know why <laughs> okay so this is all what i have for this pile very cute i really like this because <laughs> it's so cute it's like the feminine fighting for their masculine they're saying, no, I'm not going to marry like in past life. I'm not going to marry someone else. Then I'm just rather staying alone. See, this is like a woman that actually looks like a man in man clothes. You say, well, I'm a woman, but I have a lot of masculine energy and I'm going to manifest this guy if you want or not. <laughs> I think this guy will love you. This is this guy is someone who loves strong females. Okay. So, and I see the commitment card, so this will work out, I think. Let's hope. Let's hope that it's not the commitment with the other person, but I think then you rather stay in a commitment to yourself. That's what I see here. You don't marry that other guy again. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's all what I have. I hope you liked that reading. Bye, guys.